One of the most well-known contributors to the philosophy of Stoicism was Marcus Aurelius, later acknowledged as the philosopher king, who served as emperor of Rome from 161 to 180 AD. Marcus Aurelius faced numerous trials throughout his life, enduring the tragic loss of several children and eventually his wife. Additionally, he grappled with betrayal and rebellion initiated by a close friend in the East, all while engaging in almost perpetual warfare against Germanic tribes in the North. The publication of his private journal entries known as Meditations offers a rare glimpse into the personal reflections of one of the most powerful figures of his time. In these writings, Marcus Aurelius wrestles with the weighty responsibilities of ruling an empire that spanned across the known world while contending with his own profound existential questions. Despite the challenges he faced, through embracing Stoicism he was able to cultivate internal strength and resilience by embodying the philosophy's four cardinal virtues, guided by the illuminating force of reason. In this video, we will take a look into the foundational concepts and essential principles that form the foundation of the practical aspects of Stoicism, which have gained such widespread popularity in contemporary times. At the heart of Stoicism lies the fundamental concept that the world and all living things operate under the governance of reason and rationality, a principle the Stoics refer to as Logos. The Stoics held reason in such high regards that they asserted it as the supreme authority, according to which one should live their life. They believed that the entire universe, encompassing both nature and humanity, are expressions of this divine rationality that governs the inherent order of existence. Even death, according to Stoic philosophy, is merely a phase within the natural course of all living things and, as such, should not be perceived as inherently negative. Nature follows an orderly progression governed by rational principles and therefore we cannot and should not attempt to alter it, not even through mental resistance. This idea is poignantly expressed in the following quote from Marcus Aurelius's Meditations. Accept death in a cheerful spirit as nothing but the dissolution of the elements from which each living thing is composed. If it doesn't hurt the individual elements to change continually into one another, why are people afraid of all of them changing and separating? It is a natural thing, and nothing natural is evil. According to the Stoics, negative emotions such as anxiety, fear and anger arise from a stance of conflict or opposition to the inherent order of the natural world regardless of whether we are consciously aware of this or not. Consequently, acceptance as well as a shift in our perceptions perform a vital role in the process of developing Stoic resilience. The Stoics believed that our perceptions were often unreliable, for example, when viewing distorted objects through the water. Internal perceptions were subject to the same distortion as external ones, through the influence of beliefs and biases which have the potential to disrupt our judgments. Consequently, the Stoics advocated for subjecting our perceptions to the illuminating force of reason and rationality as the guiding principles of the universe. They argued that this process is essential for arriving at sound moral judgments and decisions and can lead one towards flourishing and happiness instead of internal discord, animosity and fear. Seneca asserted that negative emotions such as anger, fear and grief stem from distorted judgments resulting from a projection into either past sufferings or future anxieties. We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. Like other Stoics, Seneca advocated the application of reason and self-discipline over our internal faculties to cultivate inner peace and resilience. Within the Stoic framework, emotions are viewed as cognitive judgments capable of being either true or false. Strong emotional attachments to particular outcomes may lead us to perceive events in ways that align with our desires or fears, even if these perceptions are not objectively accurate. Epictetus encapsulated this idea with the following statement, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. The Stoics argued that many negative emotions originate from a subconscious attempt to control, or at the very least resist, events in the external world. The Stoics recognize that while we were unable to control the external world, we do have complete power over our responses to it. 
Epictetus illustrated this idea in his work Discourses, where he outlines the dichotomy of control, one of the most fundamental concepts in Stoic philosophy. Epictetus describes two categories within human perceptual experience. The first is what is up to us, or aspects of our lives that are under our control. This encompasses our thoughts, desires, aversions, judgments, choices and actions, essentially our internal mental and moral faculties. Epictetus stated that we have complete control over these elements, as they are malleable to our internal reason and rationality. The second category is what is not up to us, or aspects that are outside of our control or influence. This category includes particular events or circumstances, political structures, societal norms, the weather, or other people's words and actions. Epictetus taught that by comprehending and embracing this crucial distinction between what is within our control and what is not, we can develop emotional strength during adversity. This understanding empowers us to channel our internal thoughts and actions towards the cultivation of a virtuous and moral character, rather than fixating on external events or situations that lie outside of our sphere of influence. It is crucial to note that this isn't about suppressing our emotional responses to life's challenges, but by consistently practicing an understanding and acceptance of aspects of life that fall beyond our control, negative emotions become largely stripped of their power over us. Zeno of Citium, the founder of Stoicism, who lived from 334 to 262 BC, implemented the four cardinal virtues initially introduced by Plato to a central position within Stoic philosophy. The virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance became the foundational principles guiding the Stoic way of life. Wisdom is considered to be the most fundamental of the Stoic virtues as it provides a foundational guide to the other virtues. It involves a deep understanding of what is within our control and what is not, as well as the ability to make sound judgments and decisions in accordance with reason. Courage, in the Stoic sense, is not limited to physical bravery, but extends to moral and emotional courage as well. It relates to the ability to face challenges, adversity, and even the prospect of death with resilience and fearlessness. Justice in the Stoic sense relates to treating others and the world with fairness, honesty and impartiality, as well as fulfilling one's obligations and responsibilities to society. Temperance refers to self-control and moderation. It is the virtue of managing one's desires and emotions. It involves avoiding excesses and finding a balanced, moderate approach to life free from unhealthy attachments and the resulting emotional turmoil. The four cardinal virtues are seen as interrelated and interdependent, working in harmony to guide individuals towards living a virtuous life in accordance with Stoic principles. The Stoics believe that by cultivating these virtues, individuals can achieve inner peace, contentment and a sense of purpose. Stoicism is a timeless and pragmatic philosophy holding immense relevance in our contemporary lives. When applied effectively, Stoicism has the potential to become an invaluable tool for cultivating mental resilience and courage in the face of the challenges present in the modern world. The philosophy of Stoicism encourages a profound shift in perspective by understanding and accepting the distinction between what falls within our control and what lies beyond it. We can channel our focus towards what truly matters alleviating anxieties and frustrations associated with the attachment to external circumstances. The transformative impact of individuals developing and embodying the principles of Stoicism has the potential for an exponential ripple effect, not only enhancing personal well-being but radiating positive influences throughout society and the broader world.